It's a new year and a new chance to start looking at ways to save money. Here with me today is Brian Regan from Wealth Enhancement Group. Brian, welcome. Hi, Anna. Thanks for having me. So you recently wrote an article for us about seven ways to save big and live well. Can you tell me what these seven ways are? Yeah, so I was really wanted to concentrate on uh, big ways that people can save rather than something simple like skipping your morning latte because I think that only helps in the margins. So I, I wanted to concentrate on big things. And the big things are uh, where you buy your house, how you finance your house, what kind of car you buy, uh, dating actually in relationships, and uh, s uh, certain hobbies. Um, you know, this the, all, all, all gets collected into this article. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Like what should be... What should people be looking for when they are buying house to save a little bit more? Yeah, so this is a very personal article. This is a lot of things that I've done personally. I don't expect everybody to, um, you know, be able to, to implement these, but you know, hopefully I can help somebody here or there. Uh, obviously, everybody's different, but one of the things that I recommend is finding your ideal neighborhood and then finding the neighborhood adjacent to it. Uh, I, what I've found throughout my life is is a lot of the same amenities, whether it be schools, restaurants, parks, beaches, whatever you're looking for. Uh, the town next door typically has access to those same things, and sometimes it can be um, significantly cheaper. And I estimated on the back of the envelope calculator, calculator that I am um, saving around $1,500 a month. Uh, in the article, you mentioned different ways you should be looking at your mortgage to make sure you're saving bigger. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, luckily, a lot of Americans have gotten this memo uh, where 85% of Americans have a fixed rate mortgage. Uh, I, I cannot advocate for a fixed rate mortgage more, and I get a get hives a little bit when people get floating rate mortgages. And, and why is that? Well, you know, a fixed rate mortgage is going to get cheaper as time goes by, inflation happens, your wages go up, uh, and it's going to, it's going to be, you know, less expensive. You, the, the, in, in addition to that, you know, it might be called fixed rate, but it does float because if rates go down, you can refinance and you can help out your cash flow. You can also do a cash out refi, which you can add to your, your portfolio, which I've done in the past. So um, I'm a big advocate for fixed rate mortgages. And you mentioned the type of car people drive. What should people be looking for when they are buying a new car for them? Yeah, everybody likes the new car smell, um, but there's a big difference between a $60,000 car and a $15,000 car. Um, and they both get you to point A to point B. So I've been an advocate for buying used cars. I've bought used cars in my life. And, uh, you know, at 6% interest rates today for a used car, which is the prevailing rate when I wrote the article, uh, you know, you can save about $1,000 a month in financing costs, costs over a five-year loan. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to save on excise tax and insurance and things like that. So again, big savings, just like the house. And another thing people spend money on is hobbies. You gave some advice on how you can enjoy some hobbies for a little bit less ex for a smaller expense. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a little tongue in cheek. Everybody has different hobbies. Uh, I have fairly expensive hobbies. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I know that I like to golf. I like to ski and I like to boat. Um, and I've never set foot in a country club. So that might be kind of a surprise to people. I'm just not that picky about where I play. Um, you know, wherever it has a tee time, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to take it. I'm happy to play nine instead of 18. I call that dad golf. Uh, just those two things combined. If you play every week, you're going to, uh, you know, the, the regular golfer knows that you can save yourself over, you know, $100 a week. In addition, I like to walk instead of, uh, instead of drive. Uh, that's going to save you some additional money too. I like to buy used balls. I've never bought a new club. I found that used clubs are uh, significantly uh, cheaper than than, used uh, than new clubs. And, uh, you know, my golf game, I'd say I'm slightly above average, which uh, or above the median, I'd say, not above the average. Uh, so, you know, you, you, there's different tips like that when it comes to skiing, too. Keep your skis for a long time. You know, winter coats tend to last a long time. You don't need to swag it up every single time you go out in the, on the mountain. Um, and finally, you know, I love to boat. And before I had my second child, I was part of a boat club. And I'm a big advocate for boat clubs. The difference between a boat club and actually owning a boat is you spread the cost out of a boat um, among the, the other members of the club. So, uh, you know, obviously when you're spreading the, the costs out uh, among a lot of people, it's, it's much better. And, you know, it's really that's the same advice that I said uh, when I said I always have roommates uh, in the article. Even, you know, you're, you're just spreading the cost out of your shelter. Cost. You're, you're spreading the cost of your shelter across more than one person. You said you implemented a lot of these strategies in your own life, but what are some challenges somebody may face by trying to use some of these strategies? Yeah, this article is written based on, you know, my personal life and, and how I've saved, you know, the bulk of my capital so I can invest. Um, I think a lot of this could be difficult, right? One of my, one of my uh, things is don't have roommates. Um, you know, it's going to, people really have struggled uh, living with, with roommates. For me, it was a, a gift. You know, I've met some great people. I lived 
had some great times with my best friends and I love having my family under my, you know, my current roof right now. Um, you know, some people just love new cars. They need a new lease. They like the new car smell. They like the, they like the gadgets. You're going to have to give up something. Uh, some people won't, won't play, you know, the, the country club down the street and they want to play, you know, a real club. In order to save money, significant money, you're going to have to make some cuts elsewhere. Some, you know, most likely, uh, or, or, or good luck. You know, you need, probably need to make a lot more money. And if somebody's reluctant to try some of these strategies, like if they're reluctant to live with roommates, what advice do you have for them? Well, you don't have to do all seven on the list. You know, if, 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 if two or three work for you, then, then that's great. Um, if you don't want to live with roommates, then drive a used car. Or, you know, if you live in a city, you don't have a car at all. They're, they're pretty expensive. So, um, you know, life's, life's full of give and takes. Um, you know, if you do well seven, I, I think that you'll find that it's very healthy for your budget. Uh, if you can only do two or three, it's better than doing none. Is there anything else about this article that you'd like to add? Well, I think this is a great one for, uh, you know, New Year's resolution type thinking. Uh, and I think it, it breaks a, a lot of uh, molds that, that people um, might conventionally get from their family or their friends. You know, particularly the one, look at the neighborhood adjacent to the favorite neighborhood on your list. Uh, you know, there's a, the, m many people will pressure you into getting into the most expensive place. And then sometimes you'll find that you you're, might be house rich and cash poor. Um, I don't think that's a really good way to live your life. But, um, you know, hopefully this article gives you some permission to think outside the box. Great. Thanks so much for speaking with me, Brian. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you, Alana. Have a good day. Yeah.